Hi, I'm Sherry. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm a homeschooling mom of two girls. Today I want to do a quick pros and cons video of the Math with Confidence math curriculum. So we are currently using the third grade for my oldest daughter. If you want the super quick version, I will put a summary recap at the end of the video. The pros. First of all is my daughter likes it. We have used numerous math curriculums. She has hated all of them. This one she actually likes as far as she's going to ever say that she likes math. So that's definitely a pro for us. The second one is that it has built-in review. So this is the student workbook. Every lesson has a lesson page that goes along with what you're learning, a practice page for them to practice what they just learned, and then a review page that's going to review topics from the previous lessons. So my daughter really needs constant review or she forgets things. So that is very helpful. It also helps me stay on top of things that she's forgotten or that we need to go over again. And then the third pro is I like that it teaches various strategies. It rarely is going to tell you this is the only way to do this problem. Sometimes even within one lesson, it will teach you two different strategies and then it tells you to pick which one makes the most sense to you and use that one going forward. Or it will teach one strategy and then later it'll teach some mental strategies. Um, so you just kind of learn various ways to think about a problem, which I think can only help kids build good math fluency and understanding. So they're not just learning how to follow one certain protocol. They're learning different ways to look at and attack a problem. And from that, they can figure out which way works best for them. The cons, the first one for us is that it's not easy to do on the go. We run around a lot for different extracurriculars, maybe to go see family. We previously used Math Mammoth and it's what I currently use with my younger daughter. So that one just looks like this. It's one little book. The instructions, the problems, everything is contained in this tiny little workbook. Math with confidence, you need this teacher's guide, which is giving you all the instructions for teaching the lesson. Then you need a student workbook. So there are two of these for each grade. So those are at least a little more manageable because it's split in two. And then you also often need some sort of manipulative to do the lesson because there are a lot of games and stuff in here. That's also maybe another con for me because I don't really like a game heavy curriculum, but it does actually work for my oldest. So I do it. Now you don't need a special manipulative kit necessarily. A lot of times you can use things that you have at home or easily available manipulatives. But especially like in the third grade, we're using a lot of base 10 blocks. We're using money. We might need a clock. Um, for games, you need playing cards or um, you know some little bingo counters. There's just always, almost every lesson requires some manipulatives. So, you know, in order to take it with you, you need two books plus whatever manipulatives, and it's kind of a lot to take on the go with you. My other con is sometimes it feels a little light on problems for me. You know, there'll be a few within the lesson and then there's a little bit on the practice page. And sometimes it'll even say like, we've combined the practice and review for this lesson because they did so many problems in the lesson. But it usually doesn't feel like that many problems to me. So for my daughter who needs a lot of review, Sometimes I wish there were a few more problems for her to work through because it feels like about the time she's getting the hang of it, then she's out of problems. And we only do our math three days a week because we have an in-person class two days a week. So if we do a lesson on Monday and she's just starting to get the hang of it and then we don't come back till Wednesday and now there might be some problems from Monday's lesson, either we're building on it on Wednesday or it's showing up in that review, but that's 48 hours and she can forget what she learned in 48 hours if she didn't really get it cemented in. So sometimes I wish there were a few more practice problems. Um, it feels just a little bit light sometimes. And the other con for me is that 
I don't really find that you can combine lessons. Again, we do our learning only three days a week. So to get through the curriculum sometimes feels a little difficult because there just doesn't seem like a good way to combine lessons because the lessons are a little bit in depth. I can't just pick up, you know, two lessons and combine them together very easily because it's going to be different strategies and it just feels kind of awkward, especially because the lessons are so scripted. Um, I have not worked out an easy way to combine lessons if I feel like we could. Honestly, most of the time when I look at the lesson, it, it doesn't feel combinable. So those are my pros and cons. So let's do a quick recap. The pros for Math with Confidence, my daughter likes it. It has built-in review and it teaches various strategies for how to work out the answer to a problem. The cons for me are, one, it's not easy to take with you because there are so many parts. Two, sometimes it feels a little light on problems and I wish there was a little more work involved in each lesson. And three is that I find it is hard to combine lessons because they are scripted and so in depth. Um, overall, we do enjoy math with confidence. I think it is a good curriculum, especially if your kid is a little math resistant and they do well with games and manipulatives and things like that to help them learn. I will do another video that is more of a flip through of the third grade level math with confidence if you wanna check that out. So what do you think of math with confidence if you use it?